Hello everyone, in this lecture, I'm going to show to you how to derive the mean, the variance, and the moments of log normal distribution. Log normal distribution is a continuous probability distribution with a probability density function or PDF shown in here. Now let's start with our derivation of mean. Mean is equal to expectation of x. And since this is a continuous probability distribution, is equal to the integral of x from here times the probability density function which is this one in here 1 over square root of 2 pi sigma then e raised to negative of ln of x minus mu then squared over 2 sigma squared then we have here x then the x. This x is from 0 to infinity, so we have here 0 to infinity. Then we can cancel out this x in here and x in here. Then we can simplify this integral expression by transforming it using the transformation function y is equal to ln of x. Then from here, x is equal to e raised to y. Then the x will be the derivative of this one which is e raised to y dy then substituting this in here we'll have integral of for this one we have 1 over square root of 2 pi sigma then e raised to negative for ln of x let us use this y then minus mu squared over 2 sigma squared. Then for the x, let us use this one e raised to y dy. Then for the limits, if x is 0, in here ln of 0 is negative infinity, or in here if x is 0, then this term e raised to y will become 0 only if this y is negative infinity. So we have here y is negative infinity when x is 0. Then if x is infinity, in here ln of infinity is infinity or in here if x is infinity in here this term e raised to y will become infinity only if this y is also infinity so we have here y is infinity when x is infinity then observe that this expression is same with the probability density function with mean mu and variance sigma squared so we can rewrite this expression as equal to the integral of let us write this e raised to y first then this one can be denoted as f of y given the parameters mu and sigma squared then dy from negative infinity to positive infinity then we have here where y is normally distributed with mean mu and variance sigma squared. Then this integral expression can be expressed as expectation of e raised to y, where y is normally distributed with mean mu and variance sigma squared. This is because expectation of e raised to y for a continuous distribution is equal to the integral of e raised to y times the probability density function dy with the limits where the domain is defined. For normal distribution, the domain is defined from negative infinity to positive infinity. And in here, we have limits from negative infinity to positive infinity. So it is okay to express this one as expectation of e raised to y. Now, this expression is very similar to the formula for the moment generating function. The formula for the moment generating function is expectation of e raised to ty. If we let this t be equal to 1, then they are the same. Now, for the normal distribution, the moment generating function is equal to e raised to mu t, mu is from here, then plus 1 half sigma squared t squared, where the sigma squared is from here. Then, if we replace this t in here and t in here by 1, then we can express this one as 
it is to mu times 1, then plus 1 half, sigma squared times 1 squared. Then we can simplify this as e raised to mu plus 1 half sigma squared. So now we have now our mean for log normal distribution which is this one. Now let's proceed with our derivation of variance. Variance originally has a formula expectation of x minus expectation of x squared and we have another formula which is expectation of x squared minus the square of expectation of x. This one is derivable from this one and we gonna use this one for our derivation of variance. Now for the expectation of x this one this is the same with the mean so we have derived it to be this one so we can use this one for this one. Then for the expectation of x squared, we haven't derived it yet so we need to derive this one first before we can derive the variance. For the expectation of x squared, since this is a continuous probability distribution, it is equal to the integral of x squared, which is from here, times the probability density function which is this one, 1 over square root of 2 pi sigma then e raised to negative ln of x minus mu squared over 2 sigma squared then we have here x then dx this x is from 0 to infinity so we have here 0 to infinity then we can cancel out this squared and x now similar to what we have done in our derivation of mean we can simplify this one by transforming it using the transformation function y is equal to ln of x. Then from here, x is equal to e raised to y. Then dx will be the derivative of this one which is e raised to y dy. Then let us substitute this in here. So we'll get integral of, for x let us use this one e raised to y then this one 1 over square root of 2 pi sigma e raised to negative for ln of x let us use this y so we have here y minus then mu squared over 2 sigma squared then for the x let us use this e raised to y dy now for the limits if x is 0 in here, ln of 0 is negative infinity, or in here if x is 0, this term e raised to y will become 0 only if this y is negative infinity. So in here y is negative infinity when x is 0. Then if x is infinity, in here ln of infinity is infinity, or in here if x is infinity in here, this term e raised to y will be infinity only if this y is also infinity. So we have here y is infinity when x is infinity. Then observe that this expression is a probability density function for the normal distribution with mean mu and variance sigma squared. So we can rewrite this one as integral of let us combine both e raised to y and e raised to y in here. So we have here e raised to y plus 1 is 2y. Then for this one let us denote it as f of y given the parameters mu and sigma squared then we have here dy from negative infinity to positive infinity where y is normally distributed with mean mu and variance sigma squared then this one can be expressed as expectation of e raised to 2y where y is normal distributed with mean mu and variance sigma squared. This is because expectation of e raised to 2y for a continuous distribution is equal to the integral of e raised to 2y times the probability density function dy with the limits where the domain is defined. For normal distribution, the domain is defined from negative infinity to positive infinity 
and in here we have also the limits negative infinity to positive infinity so it's okay to express this one into this one expectation of e raised to 2y now this expectation of e raised to 2y is very similar to the formula for the moment generating function the moment generating function has the formula let us have variable y expectation of e raised to ty so if we let this t to be equal to 2 then they have the same formula now for the normal distribution the moment generating function has the formula equal to e raised to mu t plus 1 half sigma squared then if we replace this t in here and in here by 2 then we can express this one as e raised to mu times 2 then plus 1 half sigma squared times 2 squared then we can cancel out this 2 in here and 2 in here so this one will be e raised to 2 mu plus 2 sigma squared then this one is expectation of x squared For variance, we have the formula, this one. Let me rewrite that in here. For expectation of x squared, we can use this. Then minus square of expectation of x. For our expectation of x, we have this one then this is squared then distributing these two for its term in here we'll get e raised to 2 mu plus sigma squared Then this one can be factored out into plus sigma squared plus sigma squared. Then we can separate the sigma squared resulting into e raised to 2 mu plus sigma squared e raised to sigma squared. Then we have a common term for each side in here. So we can factor this expression by e raised to 2 mu plus sigma squared. So we have e raised to 2 mu plus sigma squared times e raised to sigma squared minus 1. So we have now our variance for the log normal distribution which is this one. Now let's proceed with our derivation of moments. Moments which is expectation of x raised to n. Since this is a continuous probability distribution, it is equal to the integral of x raised to n from here times the probability density function which is this one in here then e raised to negative ln of x minus mu squared over 2 sigma squared over x then dx this x is from 0 to infinity so we have here 0 to infinity then we can divide this x raised to n by x so we have here n minus 1 then we can cancel this x now the process of derivation here is very similar to the derivation of mean and variance so if you didn't skip the derivation of mean and variance the derivation in here would be very familiar to you now similar to what we have done in our derivation of mean and variance we can simplify this expression by transforming it using the transformation function y is equal to ln of x and from here x is equal to e raised to y then dx will be the derivative of this one e raised to y dy then substituting this in here we'll get for x let us use this e raised to y 
then this x is raised to n minus 1 then this one 1 over square root of 2 pi sigma e raised to negative for ln of x let us use this y minus mu then squared over 2 sigma squared from here then for dx let us use this e raised to y dy now for the limits if x is 0 ln of 0 is negative infinity and if x is 0 in here this term e raised to y will become 0 only if this y is negative infinity then y is negative infinity when x is 0 then if x is infinity ln of infinity is infinity or in here when x is infinity this term e raised to y will become infinity if this y is also infinity so we have here y is infinity when x is infinity then this term is same with the probability density function for the normal distribution with mean mu and variance sigma squared so we can derive this expression as integral of let us combine both exponentials this one and this one so we have here e raised to let us have ny minus y then plus y then we can cancel minus y and plus y leaving ny for the exponent of e then for this one let us denote it as function of y given the parameters mu and sigma squared then dy from negative infinity to positive infinity then we have here where y is normally distributed with mean mu and variance sigma squared then this expression can be rewritten as expectation of e raised to ny where y is normally distributed with mean mu and variance sigma squared this one can be expressed as expectation of e raised to ny because expectation of e raised to ny for a continuous distribution is integral of e raised to ny times the probability density function dy with the limits where the domain is defined for normal distribution the domain is defined from negative infinity to positive infinity and in here we have limits from negative infinity to positive infinity so it is okay to express this into this one expectation of e raised to ny then this expression is very similar to the formula for the moment generating function moment generating function has the formula expectation of e raised to ty and if we replace this t by n then they are the same now for the normal distribution the moment generating function is e raised to mu t plus one half sigma squared t squared then if we replace this t in here and t in here by n then we can express this one as e raised to mu n plus one half sigma squared times n squared or we can derive this one as e raised to n mu plus one half n squared sigma squared so now we have our expectation of x raised to n which is the moments for the log normal distribution